So uh, in in England, there was a family that there was one member of a family that was cast out, and and he was uh, fighting Parliament, and he was part of the royal family supposedly, and he left for religious freedom because of what they were doing, and basically the man left to Spain that knew El Dorado, so they had just left. Uh, Aztec area and they knew of that area that they had sent were just into before that and well he left and settled Jamestown that family integrated with um, the natives and as far as John Smith you don't know his name but it's John Smith and he's that El Dorado person or whatever he was going to find that but he wasn't going to he was not looking for gold so he was gold in person or whatever and they sent him as a refugee from England to settle Jamestown. And then after that, well, Geronimo James was 500 years ago, and he's a flying native um, that could fly in the air. Um, and then they heard about that and, and, and set up the religion in 1611 for King James Bible of basically Geronimo James and the James never left. And it was to sabotage, and yet like get rid of something and they started a war that was the American Revolution all the way through the end of the war and unfortunately history has not told the story correctly as far as what happened in this country so if of course if you follow the arts of like people drawing or, or making video games or whatever you can follow Assassin's Creed and see a flying native that turns into an eagle that's a child of the blonde guy that's in the previous game um, that shows up and that is the consensus of that story but moving on my I've been I've been ridiculed and, and harmed all my life and I'm a member of the James family and I'm part native my grandfather was a Cherokee and that's the land that Geronimo James is from and the family members of all those people and and they keep stealing acreage from us and stuff like that during my during the times um, they in fact don't tell the truth about our heritage not being dramatic. Uh, they said that our heritage was dramatic during Nazis times with Jesse James. And they said that Jesse James was a notorious uh, cowboy, but that means Buffalo Soldier because Buffalo Soldier was ridiculed by being called a cowboy. So they called him a boy and a cowboy means Buffalo Soldier, but that was a derogatory term. Now I keep reiterating this being something that is wrong because they keep chasing people that are supposedly trying to reach something of destroying people's lands and stuff like that. But whenever they started attacking the Americas, they were chasing down uh, uh, people out of this country. And it's still, still one of those things where the war that they said only lasted 500 years, I mean uh, five years, excuse me, five years, actually cost seven million lives in five years. And it doesn't seem to add up whenever the, all they had was that line up and shoot each other game. And it doesn't make sense whenever that's what they said. So uh, 7 million lives in five years and all those uniforms were, were like uh, two, two, there's not enough uniforms to even cover that as far as in five years going to make that many uniforms. No. Um, so how were the police here with you today? Well, other than just a consistent like getting sent to move me along for no reason at all because I should be able to just lay there and sleep whenever I've got nothing else to do. I've got nothing, nowhere else to go. They've stole, uh, people have stolen my ID, birth certificate, and social over and over again to the point where it's like every time I get one, someone sabotages me and sends the cops and they take that and I don't have it anymore so I can't get a job. And so uh, there's no one helping me per se, but I, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that anymore. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep on just ignoring it because that's all it is, that's all I can do. There's nothing else I can do. But when I was uh, 12 years old, like Goku, I floated and I got poisoned by something that in the Orient they used to call wolf weed, but they have new chemicals now. Um, and, and that comes back all the way to like Rome and ancient Rome and stuff like that, where they had a golden eagle that was their leader whenever he was born, and they didn't like that, so they came up with something that hurt them. And and also they wanted to destroy them because usually the Orient would find them, the Orient would find them, and be like, that is our emperor, and they didn't want that huge empire to have their king, 
and I'm like, well, it's a qualification, not really a standard. They're just looking for this person out of these people. So they keep stopping basically a race of people from starting, and it's never the same person. A race is just something that culminates to be able to do something in their anatomy. And so they use something that poisons people, that stops the, it messes up their brain because the medulla oblongata is a reptilian part of our brain. And that part of our brain is actually where avian flight comes from. So if you can fly, and that's where it activates in the arc of the nerve to fly, they hit you with something that basically causes your physicality to diminish. So trying to cause somebody to be weak so they can call them weak is something that they've been trying to do this whole time. And well, that's what it is. It's something that starts 400 years ago. It has nothing to do with something that started 13,000 years ago. It was after Pangea's polar shift explosion. So, um, where are you originally from? I was born in Mississippi on, on a land that uh, used to be known as the Cherokee inheritance because uh, my grandfather, my great grandfather, technically on, on standard of writing down like in, in this country's uh, heritage, in this country's like history, it's my great grandfather, but that's actually my grandfather. Um, and he's he, he lived on that land and he, he, that was the inheritance of, of, his, of his wife, which is full on from that area he had moved back to in the tribes because they said each to his own and they wouldn't let him marry somebody that was outside of his race. So he had to marry back into the tribal pattern of you know, the tribal community. So he went back that way. Now, whenever they stopped that and said in, in Nazi times, my family was already here. How are we dramatic? And we came from the time periods of like leaving England, going through Spain and landing Jamestown. If they said Jesse James was a Nazi, how is he a Buffalo soldier that's also uh, somehow on the bad guy side whenever he's a Buffalo soldier and tried to fight that re revolution? There's no reason for people to believe that the war, American Revolution started from Boston Tea Party because Abraham Lincoln, who had a monopoly on cherry trees, he had a monopoly on cherry trees. He had a, how do you touch, he says he chopped, chopped down one cherry tree. No, he had a farm of cherry trees and went around chopping down all the cherry trees in the nation so that his family had a monopoly and he admitted to chopping down a cherry tree, a type of cherry tree. So that was what happened. Now, the man owned the railroad, he owned the railroad in the time period this nation actually slaves. Now that man was shot by an Irish immigrant slave. But who would have been mad at a man who had coal mines and put little Irish people in the coal mines in during that time? Oh, probably an Irish immigrant slave. And if you watch the original video, it's actually set in a weird time period where those slaves got mad and one of them shot him because he was enslaved and he got out and shot him. So uh, the revolution and the American Revolution, the Civil War and the Texas Revolution are all one war here. They just split it up to where they don't tell you what was going on. Um, but other than that, um, that's my story. And oh, I, I uh, just want people to know that I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to heal. And I needed help uh, with a lot of things. And I'd like to fly. And it's not something I have to earn whenever I'm born with it. And my dad or anybody parenting me doesn't have to die before I fly. So whenever it says in some sort of biblical sense, in a cyclical sense, where it says, well, they fly to the devil, but if they, if someone dies and, they, and then they fly, it's some sort of Jesus thing. And it's like, well, that's not what the Old Testament it has anything to do with. And that's only written in 1611, which was after Jamestown was ever settled in the 1500s. So in England, they wrote a story, they rewrote something called Beowulf. Beowulf met a lady and had a child that could fly. Now that lady had these ankles that were special to that lady being that lady, and that man was that man. Well, they met and had a flying baby. That flying baby did not curse anybody. The Beowulf would have loved the flying baby. And if you look at it like that, if you understand, if you understand the story, that cartoon—it's just a cartoon poem. Doesn't talk about that, that stuff like that. So in 1500, they rewrote it. Now, in the 1500s, that James, that family, of, that, that member of the James family left England, like I said, and the royal family that was still there put out that story in the poem of Gaelic, and, the, well, the movie doesn't depict the poem at all, so it's not really the same. So, the whole consensus of this is, if you follow what it says, uh, like, if you follow it correctly, I'm just tired of what people are doing in my family, I'm tired of 
people, lying about people in this world. And my, on my mother's side, um, the original uh, design of McDonald's comes from a, a, chair, uh, a mixed race man in the South that didn't let the cows get killed. He waited till his her this herd of cows died individually before the meat had to go somewhere. So then he had to out all this stuff after after the revolution, after all the uh, taking claim of areas. And the original design of McDonald's was from a Creole man, if you want to call it, Creole man, dark skinned Creole man. And that's in my mother's side of her family. Now in Vietnam, uh, 1969, my mother was three years old and the man that came back was not necessarily the man who was there before. And now uh, what happened was she's basically kidnapped by this country trying to cover up stealing the guns from her family. Mm. Hey, did the officers offer any type of outreach? Um, they did, but I haven't ever gotten help through those outreaches. I think they relate to something that I need. Um, right now I have a bad back and I was just trying to rest because I've been trying to, trying to get past trying to get past all these hurdles. What kind of what kind of work did you do? Uh, I've worked for AT and T, Charter Communications. I worked for um, plenty of agencies of like uh, communications and uh, cable network. Um, I worked at uh, a lot of food places, but I I, I don't I don't want to work for food anymore. Um, and that's what they keep like they just keep on making me a cookie. Like, uh, like here, yeah, you only work at a, as a cook. That's all. It's like no, no, I'm not here. To, Cook food for you because you want to blame me. To cook the food for you, and that is basically where it comes down to. Um, what, what kind of work do you want to do? Uh, well, honestly, I've got tons of stuff that is kind of just at this point with the level of plans that I have in this world to fix the problems I believe that are going on for everybody is kind of not necessarily the ruler of the world, but the. Uh, uh, just kind of <laughs> just kind of like well look this is the problem this is the fix this is how you get around that this is how you keep this thing and i could basically run kingdoms without being the king because that that'd be my job but i could do that by sitting somewhere right there and and then also you know doing my thing like traveling the world or something like i like i should be able to do being able being as a person that could fly should not be hindered by wolf weed trying to keep him from being the emperor of china because it hurts my medulla and legata keep, and people keep pushing me around. Well, that's the muscle, where my strength comes from. That's where people's strength comes from. And that's where like healing people with reptilian types of, that's the reptilian part of your mind. So if your mind's eye attached to that, the healing others and healing yourself comes from that itself. So it's not going to work if they keep doing that and expecting someone to do something for them. And that's basically where, where I am. So, you, and you mentioned you have uh, Cherokee blood? Uh, Cherokee mix because it's something that's been going on from Apache to Cherokee on the both sides of the country. Mm -hmm. So it's and also whenever they started in a certain point where my grandmother's Irish Cherokee native and she's well she was do you remember that Creole started whenever they started throwing every all the slaves which are Irish uh, 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 Creoles Creoles came from being slapped in the reservation with four different types of races that weren't considered not slaves. So the Irish, the Asian, the, uh, the some of the African Americans, and then, uh, you know, they were all mixed into a race, and then some of them were more such than others, so they had this weird, you have to each to your own, and yet that's weird because I can't really get around the fact that mix. You know, so, and then whenever I look like a certain way, because, well, eventually you always, I mean, eventually there's something that happens in everybody's race that you might have a little well, you know, and, and, and it's not even from being another place, you know. You know, El Dorado is the culmination of people in one area knowing that once upon a time, there's this blonde guy that shows up and he's from their family and he's in their family and born from their family. And then on the other side of that, you also have like people that come from other places that have those traits. and. It's just one of those things where eventualities is there's going to be someone who looks like that, you know, and and, it, it, and some people don't understand that. So what happens when someone's born there who looks like that, and then what happens when someone's not born from there, and who's mixed race and all this stuff that they're telling them they have to be with someone that looks like this, while if there's someone already with them that doesn't look like them, 
at all. You have to that, you have to deal with racism, saying you can't tell that person they can't be with that person because that's racist. And I'm like, well, you told me I have to pick somebody, or you told me I have to be with someone who's to my own, but that person isn't good to each their own, and I'm stuck between this. Well, I've come down to the conclusion that there's no outlet for that, you know, other than telling people, well, that's this is a conundrum if you're expecting something like everlasting life from a person and then you poison them right whenever they stop being hungry it's not gonna happen for anybody else were you raised with religion uh yeah i, I was born in mississippi so that's kind of the thing around us but, but yeah, it's not of, something that was there in the, the teaching very long did you go to the church no not really, oh. not really. i didn't have to I, I was always someone that didn't have to but the first thing I remember as far as a child was being smacked in the back of the head and having a big old, I have a scar on the back of my head and that's because uh, just circumstances of being someone in a place that looked quick. So, um, but you know, it's, it's nor here nor there. Uh, like I said, I've, I've gotten back up plenty of times, but I haven't gotten back up from many people uh, along the way. Uh, other than as it goes, there's people that don't want things to happen or don't want things to happen to me or just want to help out. But I've been poisoned multiple times just because people are rude um, and want to get rid of me for saying something about something they have nothing, they have no say in. So, but thank you for yeah. uh, taking my words and going along with them. Yes. Okay, nice talking to you. God bless. Infinitely, infinite bless. Because nowadays you say that and say, well, who were those? I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> Hey, how long have you been homeless? Um, well, I was homeless for a while because they, uh, there was an ideal that tried to get me to meet my daughter. They had practiced eugenics on me to get me to meet my daughter that was 10 years younger than me. So they were forcing me, pushing me along, pushing me along to meet my daughter. And I met my daughter and I kissed her on the forehead not knowing she was my daughter. And then I got hit by a car and I got back up and then I started waking up to the uh, idea that, that that's actually my daughter that was taken out of me when I was 10 years old instead of what I would have wanted to do. Now, if you want to go by that, taking someone's wrath out of the tree of life, meaning that's trying to teach your children not to do something. The tree of life teaching your children would be like, well, daddy has a wiener and it looks like a tree. And well, whenever you take something that I love, like my child, this is the apple of my eye, out of the tree of life, it releases them upon the earth without me knowing. So if to that person they are called a fury because they're a flying person, and a flying person has an old culture that called them a fury, and he's not technically that culture, but that's what it came from as far as the definition of that, it's called releasing someone's wrath upon the earth. Now that wrath is always called something else whenever a flying person births them into the world by their own choosing, they're called joy or something like that. So joy is not the same thing as someone taking someone's fury um, from them before they're born in another way and so it causes this well problem where a flying person flies over and lightning strikes down stuff and creates the illusion of having to destroy him even more and it, it just it's just never ending like I have no reason to explain it but I have to explain it because uh, I, I get knocked in the head and poisoned all my life as I grow up so the explanation of you know, being sucked into a religion that, that basically is to, is, that I had to dive into being stuck in it is what I, I started with. So, yeah. Did, did you go to college? I started college, but they kept on, they kept on, I, online, I started a test. And whenever I take a test, uh, basically what would happen is I take the test multiple times and the thing would tell me I got a failing score. So I'd be like, well, I could retake this test and it's an open book why is it failing so i retake it and i put the right answers down i got all the right answers and i check it again and it still says failing and it shows me wrong on those same answers so i do it again do it again do it again and it, they never get it right but it's never right and while that was going on i was going through being hit by a car living homeless and i was trying to get back on my feet working at wendy's and basically they they sabotage stuff along the way so i say they because it's a it's just a group of people that are trying to get me to be crazy about being woke. And, well, I, I can't get around that, so let's go.
Right. But I, I, I have, I have plans as far as being, being somebody in this world. I do. Um, I just don't like <laughs> having, having a conflict of interest towards one thing or another part of like, like people with cars or people without cars. It's like, well, these cars need to advance because you hear them popping and popping this horn, horn fuel all over the place and. And really, honestly, there's ways around how we work our economy in this area. All resources are being wasted by the fact that money is in the way of the resource. So resource is money, but money is like, well, we don't have enough money for that resource to be available. Or like, you no, know, it's just because you keep throwing it in a dump, and it costs money to it costs money to recycle, but it costs it costs money to throw away your trash. It costs money to keep the trash. It costs money to have trash and to make trash and all that stuff that costs money for is so you can more money it's costing people so the inflation rate just goes boo and then there's a whole bunch of trash and plastics that they keep mining out to throw away and that mining out to throw away well they're not ever going to mine that dump out to just get rid of that whole having to recycle it and well as far as refineries and recycling plants and stuff like that having pollution um i already have you know my idea of my my plan to basically say well why don't you just build it underground and put in a vac let's put it in vacuum chambers that compress and condense and do stuff like that and then a burn off system to where it's actually getting rid of the pollution in a way that is systematically is collecting the pollutants as another resource because the pollutants are filled with chemicals that you need for other stuff it's just being thrown up in the atmosphere and you know I, with this whole I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can create O3 with a vacuum chamber system and, and O3 is your ozone layer. So if you, you understand that, it's like I'm pretty sure we can use these pollutants in a certain way where you create O3 with the compression and the heat. And so uh, it, it's all simple math. So I'll just do the math. Just do the math to, get, to understand the history that it's not telling you the truth all the time. Where do you learn all this? Pain that I've already gone through and research but that's not where you gotta learn it it's not always where you gotta learn it because some people some 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 cultures some cultures some cultures hold on to their history and it's very important it's very important and then other cultures kind of just remove history and delete history as they go and try to get rid of the past because they were the ones that were to blame for the things they say other people were to blame for just so they could do stupid things to them. So uh, what do you normally do during the day? Do you have any hobbies or? Uh, right now it's just trying to get, get my mind straight from the uh, many, many variables of others in this realm. Um, because there's, there's people in this world that can do things and they're on different, different wavelengths, different like communication levels of, of talking. Um, but, you know, right now I'm just kind of focusing on trying to collect myself as far as as far as um, just relaxing and try to help my back from hurting because I've been carrying uh, right after right after I started healing and I felt great someone poisoned me for three months where they hit me with a poison I was out for three months and I was I was I was going without hunger for months at a time and then I went to the point where I got to like six months total and then it was like well that was spread out over uh, a certain time but it lasted you know it lasted three months at, at a time where i was not hungry at all and then someone then i guess they saw me getting closer to something in my anatomy capable in my own anatomy and i'm gonna do on the data uh because that's where that part would be there so um uh, they hit me with the same thing that kept me from moving for a week or so. I got up, I could barely read, write, or speak for the rest of the three months. I got better, but I then was ran around the country and all, all the way up to Minnesota, pushed around in Minnesota by the police. I was pushed around in Sacramento by women, I was, and then I was beaten around in Las Vegas. And uh, I got, I got, my throat got slit in Vegas. I fractured my skull in Vegas across here with a baton and I got back up and I keep trying and there's no there's no answer from anybody else so uh, the, they didn't show up at the ambulance and I don't think I can trust anybody that's basically where I'm at and so I I gave I, it's like trying to it's like people trying to milk ideas and whatever I do 
out of this is not like they're it's not like they're playing like a video game trying to beat me up it's going to get better things out of it it's because it's not going to happen if they keep getting in the way of it anyway so all along it comes down to well they shouldn't do things to someone just to cover up what they might have done in the past whenever they're not the ones technically that did it but they want to blame people that would be in the way of them being someone in the world at all or something and like well, oh, flying Goku is probably not going to really care about where, who you are until you get in his way. So, because <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it's just a silly joke, but, you know, if you fly a 12 and a cartoon has kind of always been there for you, um, just one of them, like, not just one of them, but that one, that one in particular, that one in particular is very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm just going to say that's probably all I'd like to say but thank you so much you know, nice bless. talking to you God bless you bless yes and to you uh, uh, yeah that word just says it in a few times